Hello, welcome to another video on Cilium. So far in the Cilium series, we had been seeing few videos around deploying Cilium in Kubernetes cluster. And then in the previous video, which I released last week, we saw how to use Cilium network policies to control network traffic between different endpoints or different services in your cluster. And continuing with that theme, in this video, we're gonna take a quick look at the Hubble CLI. So Hubble is the observability platform uh, using Cilium, so you can observe the network traffic flows and things like that. It has two components, the Hubble CLI and the Hubble UI. So in this video, we're gonna take a quick look at Hubble CLI, how to install it, how to use it, and I'm gonna be using the Star Wars demo and follow the quick start installation so that I can show you how to use the Hubble CLI and the Hubble UI, which is a web interface, I'm planning to show that in the next video, so I don't want to drag this video, all right? So let's go to cilium.io, all right? In here, docs, and then to Cilium. So we're gonna go to, let me increase the font size a little bit, and go to the Hubble introduction, okay? So the Hubble introduction. So Hubble is the observability platform. The thing to note here is, the Hubble API operates within the scope of the individual node on which the Cilium agent runs. So that is this Hubble API that you can access on each Kubernetes node where there is the Cilium agent. But if you want to get the cluster-wide network traffic flows, then there is a component uh, called Hubble Relay that needs to be deployed, which will contact uh, other Cilium agents um, so that you get the entire visibility, network visibility across your uh, nodes in your cluster. And even if you've set up multiple clusters in a cluster mesh using cluster mesh, then again, you could use the Hubble Relay to get the network visibility across all your clusters in your cluster mesh. Okay, so let's see how to install Hubble and things, uh, and we take things from there. Okay, so here, setting up Hubble observability. So we need a Kubernetes cluster. We need to deploy Cilium, and then using Cilium, we're going to enable Hubble, okay? So for that, we need the Kubernetes cluster. I'm going to follow the same procedure that I followed in my previous video instead of starting from where I left from the previous video because you know new viewers uh, diving straight into this video, they wouldn't have any clue uh, what I'm doing. So I'm gonna quickly go through uh, the first few steps are going to be the same like what I did in the previous video. I'm gonna bring up the Kubernetes cluster using my Vagrant provisioning scripts. I'm gonna install Cilium. It's not gonna take too much time. Um, so let's go ahead, okay? So I'm in my Arch Linux server. I have cd to the play directory, and I'm going to git clone my Kubernetes repository from GitHub, and then cd to Kubernetes, and then to Vagrant provisioning. And in here, I'm going to edit Bootstrap Game Master, and I'm going to comment out these lines. So these are the lines that deploy the Calico CNI in my Kubernetes cluster, but I don't want Calico, I want Cilium, okay? So let's save that. And I'm going to run Vagrant up minus minus provider libbert. Okay, so this is going to take about five minutes. I'm going to pause the video and come back when the cluster is up and running. All right, so the command completed. I'm going to make the dot cube directory under my home directory and copy the Kubernetes config file. Right, we do kubectl cluster info. So we have the cluster, kubectl get nodes. Uh, cluster is ready, but they are not, uh, the, the nodes are actually not ready. kubectl get pods dash a. Okay, cool, that's kind of expected. It's everything up to this point the same as what I did in my previous video. Okay, the next step is also same as the one that I explained in the last video. So Cilium install minus minus version. So here, we're deploying Cilium in our Kubernetes cluster. So Cilium status dash dash wait. It's going to take just a few seconds until the deployment daemon sets are ready. Okay, so I think Cilium has done its job. So everything is okay. So Hubble Relay is disabled, which is what we're going to enable next. And now if I do kubectl get pods dash a, so everything is in the running state. Okay, so now we have a working Kubernetes cluster with Cilium as the CNI. Let's go back to the documentation and see how we can enable Hubble. Okay, so we can either enable Hubble using Helm or using the Cilium CLI. So I've already installed Cilium from my previous video. So I'm just going to run Cilium Hubble enable. So that will enable Cilium in our cluster. 
Right, Cilium Hubble enable. Right, that's done. So now if I do Cilium status, one error. So Hubble relay is just being enabled. So I have to do minus minus wait. Okay, so that's done. And you can see Hubble relay is okay. And if I do kubectl get pods dash a, you should see a pod for Hubble relay, which is here. Okay, so we have enabled Hubble uh, in our Cilium deployment. The next step is to, um, just a tip here, if you are using my variable provisioning scripts to deploy your Kubernetes, to provision your Kubernetes cluster, all my Ubuntu virtual machines that I'm using for my Kubernetes nodes, I have disabled firewall. But if you've got firewall enabled, make sure to open port 4244 on all the Kubernetes nodes, because that's the port the Hubble relay will, will communicate with all the Cilium agents, okay? So we've done the Cilium status, so now we're going to install the Hubble client. All right, depending on which platform, which architecture you are, you can choose one of these ones. So I'm on Linux. So the first one is going to grab the latest stable version of Hubble and then set the architecture to AM64 and a command to download it. All right, let's copy and run it. Okay, done. If I do which Hubble, we have Hubble and then Hubble version 0.13.2 Hubble help. So that's the Hubble CLI that we installed and we can see Hubble, the, the, the important commands that we'll be using are the Hubble observe, Hubble status and Hubble list. Okay, so let's do Hubble status first. Hubble status. Okay, failed to connect localhost 4245 because we haven't enabled port forwarding. So that's what we're going to do next. Okay, so we've enabled Hubble, we've installed the Hubble CLI, and now we're going to validate the Hubble API access. So we're gonna see whether we can access the Hubble API using the Hubble CLI. So in order to do that, we have to start the port forward using the Cilium Hubble port forward, port forward command. Okay, so let's copy that. Okay, so that's running now. By default, it runs on port 4245. And let's do Hubble status now, Hubble status, and there we go. So health check passed is okay. So it's connected to localhost 4245, current max traffic flow, network flows, um, and some uh, indicators here. Connected nodes 3 3. And if I do Hubble help, there is this Hubble list command. You can see what we can do with the list command Hubble list minus minus help. So Hubble list namespaces, Hubble list nodes. So you can do Hubble list nodes. So you can see the different nodes that the Hubble connects to. Okay, so we've done the Hubble status and we can do Hubble observe. So that's the other important uh, subcommand for our Hubble. That's not the one, Hubble observe. Okay. So Hubble Observe, you can see the traffic flows from one endpoint to another endpoint. You can see which direction the traffic is flowing. Um, so this is flowing from this endpoint to this endpoint and back from cube, uh, core DNS to this uh, pod. And you can see uh, forwarded uh, TCP flags and a lot of information using Hubble Observe. Okay, so if you want to continuously follow like a tail, you could do Hubble Observe-F and that will continuously monitor the cluster for the traffic flows that you can monitor. Okay, so let's stop that. So that's the important command, Hubble help, the Hubble observe command. Let's go back to the documentation, what else we can do. Okay, so by default, Cilium Hubble port forward uh, enables port forwarding on port 4245. So Hubble status will connect to the local host on port 4245 to get the status. But in case if you are running port forwarding to a different port other than 4245. You could set this Hubble server environment variable to that port number to the, uh, to the different port that you're actually using. Okay, cool. So the next step, let's take a look at uh, this link, inspecting network flows with the CLI. So in order to do this, what you're going to do is, uh, like what we did in the previous video, we are going to deploy the Star Wars demo app because using that demo app, uh, we are going to inspect the traffic flows between different endpoints within this demo app using the Hubble CLI. So for that, we need some kind of applications deployed. So instead of deploying my own application, 
uh, I think it's easier to go with the, the demo application that's given in this documentation, okay? So let's go to the demo application, which is the Star Wars demo. Again, the entire thing I did the, in the previous video where we looked at the Cilium network policies. So we deployed the demo application. It comes with two parts and one deployment, one service. And we enabled Cilium network policy to block traffic from X-Wing pod and things like that. So the first command here is to deploy the actual service. Okay, so I've copied the first line. Okay, so we have the Death Star service, Death Star Deploy. I'm not going to explain too much about this application uh, here in this video because this is completely covered in my previous video. If you haven't watched my previous video, please follow the uh, watch my previous video before uh, watching this one if you want to know more details. Okay, so that's done. And then we're also going to deploy the Cilium network policy, the layer 4 network policy, which will block uh, traffic from the X-Wing part to the Death Star service. Okay, so copy that, deploy it, kubectl get Cilium network policy. So we have the rule one. And another policy we are going to deploy is the layer seven policy. Okay, so layer seven policy. So that will stop all the traffic from the TIE fighter that are HTTP put method while it allows the HTTP post method, okay? Let's deploy that policy as well. That's done. kubectl get network policy. kubectl describe Cilium network policy rule one. Yes. Again, this Cilium network policy I explained in the previous video. So just to make sure that we have this network policy in our cluster, we do have. Okay, so, so we've installed the Star Wars demo app. We've created the network policy. So that's the prerequisite for following this uh, documentation inspecting the network flows okay so what we're going to do now is inspecting the clusters network traffic with the Hubble relay so some basic requests to emulate some traffic okay so we're running this command which is executing the curl command from the TIE fighter part sending the post request to the dead star service which is kind of allowed so let's do that so this is allowed again all these network policies the effect of having this policy, effect of running this command before adding the policy and after, the, after adding the policy, everything has been covered in the previous video. Okay, so we've generated some traffic using this command. And the next request is again, a curl request from TIE Fighter to the Death Star, but instead of post request, this time you're going to send the put request, which is going to be denied by the Cilium network policy we have. Okay, let's try and run that. Yes, that's access denied. And finally, one more request we're going to send is from the X-Wing pod, post request to the Death Star service, which is again stopped by the network policy. Okay, so that's going to hang, so I'm going to press Control C. All right, so we've generated some traffic, so if we want to investigate or look at the traffic flows between these endpoints, we can use the Hubble CLI, so that's the idea of this video. All right, so the first command we are going to look is Hubble observe, okay? So if you do just, if you run just Hubble observe, it's going to, it's going to display all the traffic flows in your cluster. So you can restrict the traffic flows in a specific namespace to a specific part, to a specific service, uh, by specific protocol. So in here, we are isolating, we are filtering the traffic, we are filtering the network traffic. We only want to see the network traffic to and from the Death Star service that involves the HTTP protocol, okay? So let's copy that and paste it here. So you can see here, the first request is from the TIE Fighter. So the first request is from TIE Fighter pod to the Death Star service, and it's a post request here HTTP request forward. So that's the request and you can see the, the direction of the arrow going from TIE Fighter pod to the Death Star service. It's the HTTP request. And again, the next one is the HTTP response back from the Death Star service going to the TIE Fighter and it's the 200 OK message. And then the next request is the second command that we ran. That's the TIE Fighter request from TIE Fighter to the Death Star. And you can see here the request has been dropped uh, due to the Cilium network policy we had that drops all the put requests from the TIE Fighter pod 
and also the final command we ran is uh, no no this is the uh, response back from the dead star service saying access denied 403 okay so let's go back and look at the next one so again this command here is isolating is filtering all the network traffic to and from the dead star service but we want to only see the packets of the request that has been dropped okay so let's copy that and now we can see here here in the previous command we had this uh, direction of the network traffic flow from left to right and from right to left um, but here because the traffic didn't actually flow through and you see this kind of symbol here because uh, we had to press the control c uh, because it was hanging so we you know the traffic is not flowing on either direction because it was completely blocked and this time it was from the x-wing pod to the death star service and you can see um it's, it has been denied and the policy is um the packets have been dropped okay so that's the hubble cli and in the next video uh, i think for this video it's it's quite simple so you can play with uh, the hubble observe command you can do hubble observe dash dash help and you can see here what other filters you can use um, with the Hubble. So you can see two port if you want to filter by specific port or to a specific service, uh, to a specific namespace, to a specific bar. All you can do, you can look at all these filters. So I'm going to wrap the video here. And in my next video, we will look at the Hubble UI where we can visualize, where we can visually see the dependency between the different services and traffic flows okay so thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you all in my next video until then keep learning and keep on learning bye bye